There was a moment of silence at UMass Dartmouth today where Joe Kartsaniev went to school. NBC 10's Mario Hilario picks up our live coverage on campus tonight. Mario? Yeah, good evening. It was about a year ago, you may remember, it was a chaotic scene here at UMass Dartmouth when the investigation into the bombings led authorities here to this normally quiet campus. Today I spoke to some students who were here that day. They reflect on the year since and how they see their campus community now. Bells toll at UMass Dartmouth following a moment of silence observed on campus. It is one of many institutions remembering the Boston Marathon bombings one year ago. But for this campus, the terror that struck Boston hit close to home. We definitely rallied together and was a more tighter community after that. Junior Eric Krestunin lived in the same residence hall as suspect Johar Sarnayev. He remembers vividly the campus being evacuated days after the marathon as part of the investigation. Then I went downstairs in the lobby and there was like cops everywhere and we were told to go to the campus center and then from there on we got evacuated. Fellow junior Renee Lawrencell remembers too. It was really chaotic, but everybody came together as a school and like as a community. Strangers were asking each other, like, are you okay? Do you need somewhere to go? And that, that was just very nice. Now they want to turn the negative association into a positive. The two are running in this year's Boston Marathon and raising money for the Crystal Campbell Scholarship Fund. She was a UMass Boston alum who died in the bombings. Like I knew I, I wanted to run the Boston Marathon at some point and it's even special, like it's more special now that I get to run it for a cause rather than just for myself. I feel very privileged to be able to like, represent like that first group of runners that gets to run the Boston Marathon after it happened. This t-shirt sale part of their fundraising effort. Together they're at nearly $4,000 and together they are part of this community's ongoing effort to move forward. There's definitely a, a tighter community here in the weeks after. And it still remains that way today, which is very nice. Now, students at all of the UMass campuses have raised about $50,000 for that scholarship fund so far. Here in Dartmouth, they plan to hold a vigil tomorrow at noon to officially mark one year since the Boston Marathon bombings that was rescheduled from today because of the weather. We're live in Dartmouth. Mario Florio, NBC 10 News.